when you are young you ask questions cause you are curious but as we age we tend to forget our curiosity and we stop asking questions i personally like to ask questions my most favorite type of questions are based on reality and can include topics like time here are some of my favorite topics to be discussed on time which i will try to explain to you the first topic to be discussed is einstein time theory of relativity states that time slows down or speeds up depending upon how fast you relatively move to something else like if you are in a car your time is moving slowly as compared to your brother who is sitting at home reading books basically if we are in a spaceship and approaching speed of light we will see earth revolving much faster as on earth time is moving very fast now the question comes what causes time to move forward the one word answer is entropy high entropy objects are usually untidy which makes them likely to exist entropy always increases because it's much easier for things to be untidy entropy can also be seen as a reverse of energy density like if we put hot water in a cup it will eventually cool down that's because in a way it has high energy and low entropy if it cools down it has a high entropy according to physics it nothing is stopping it from going in the reverse direction it has a probability which is very less so we simply don't see things in reverse so we see it as a fact that entropy always increases and times move forward The question now comes is when did the time start? One word answer approximately 14 billion years ago. Studies have shown that visible universe is approximately 14 billion years old because we cannot see anything past the mark of 14 billion light years away. According to the standard Big Bang model of cosmology, time began together with the universe. in a singularity approximately 14 billion years ago the next question which comes to mind is when will time end approximately 22 billion years in the future in the big rip scenario in which the dark energy which is responsible for the expansion of universe will rip the space apart there are many theories regarding the end of our universe like the big crunch in which ultimately expansion will stop and start its ultimate collapse the big freeze in this the universe will expand forever but in the end all the objects in the universe will ultimately lose its heat and perish forever its end is ultimately based on our understanding of dark energy which we don't know it yet over the centuries scientists and philosophers have always asked the question if time is an illusion we will not be able to prove it but it may be that time isn't real it's all dependent on of how our brain consumes information related to time 
it can be that reality is just a complex network of events into which we project sequence of past, present and future. But if time is a physical thing, we won't be able to tell how time passes or why does it pass or how we will be able to do time travel in the past. If time passes, then we have our next question, what is the speed of time? In a one word answer, one second per second. Now we will ask what is second. It is defined by taking a number of numerical value of cesium frequency and putting some signs into it and getting its frequency to be 919263177 which is expressed in the unit hertz which is equal to second inverse over the centuries humanity has found important to keep the track of time so people made sundials now we have watches Time is measured by atomic clocks. Then there is a question that how many time dimensions are there? We definitely know that there is one in which past and present and the future exists. But according to me, there are a total of two dimensions. For example, the X dimension of time in which all of our events in, in our timeline exist and the y dimension of time in which every possible path followed by an event can be seen. Like if we go in the future of x dimension of time, we will meet older versions of ourselves and if we go in the y direction of time, we will be meeting some versions of ourselves which are exactly in same age as of us but having different personalities but according to this theory there may be that time is not an illusion it is actually a physical dimension it was considered as illusion till Einstein came and in his general theory of relativity he established it as a real thing. It is a part of space-time which can be warped or stretched by gravity or gravitational fields produced by massive objects. It is due to it that when we are near a massive object which gravitational field we experience time more slowly. It is according to this fact that our head will always be older than our feet because time moves slowly near our feet. Many people have argued on the th theory that universe is 14 billion years old. Basically, there are two ways to tell the age of universe. By analyzing the light from the oldest star or by measuring the rate of expansion of universe and calculating it back from the Big Bang. 